So let's go ahead and current ramp three fuel pumps. And again, I want to remind you, we're doing this on the bench just for teaching purposes. You would only do it in a vehicle with gasoline or maybe in a tank with a Stoddard solvent or other suitable safety uh, liquid for running the fuel pumps. We're going to kill fuel pumps within minutes of running them dry like this. So just for teaching purposes, we'll hook this one up that we did a current draw test on earlier. And we'll see what the current ramping looks like. So we'll take the amp clamp, which is attached into my scope. And I'll go ahead and you can see the screen there. I'm going to hit the zero button. I got one millivolt equals 100 milliamps. So I'll put that around a power wire or ground. It really wouldn't matter. <clears throat> And then go ahead and get some power up. Do the override, my little jump box here. And that's not the best looking pattern I've ever seen. So there are quite a few irregularities here. We'll move over to the next pump. This little guy over here has already got some jumper wires on him. and see what it looks like on current ramping. Now that's more like it. That's what I'm used to seeing. That's a decent looking pattern. So that hasn't been abused very long, running dry on the bench. And finally, third time's charm. Maybe we'll find a bad one here. We'll just link up here. My override. was definitely a bad looking signal. Try that again. Zero it. There we go. So you see some really noisy, nasty, highly uh, erratic looking patterns. That's your indication you've got problems with a fuel pump electrically. So it may be putting out pressure, it may be inadequate pressure, it could be intermittently inadequate pressure or intermittently inoperative. When it's running and you catch it with the amp clamp and the oscilloscope, that's like the MRI looking into the heart of the inside of the fuel pump.